Hi, how are you doing? Nadine here. I am um, going to show you row two. Third time's a charm in recording, right? That's right, right, right. So, I am going to show you how to do the the standing start on this stitch. And um, I've got a bunch of the centers done. Enough for a blanket. And of course this isn't enough, but I'm not going to show you a big huge pile of them I got. Well, not big huge, I've got 42 for the lap blanket. And I figure if I want more, I can... Um, I can always make some more after, because it's join as you go, and there's not going to be a separate border. There's just going to be a border around the square. There won't be a border around the whole thing, just because of the way I did the, um, the way I did the border of the square. I think it would be a bit of a pain, but you can always put one on there if you want. But there's not going to be one included in my pattern. So, you got your center that we finished last time, and you need your flower color, in this case it's turquoise, 5.5 millimeter hook, your, of course, your uh, needle, and a pair of scissors for snipping your stuff. So, first thing you do is to start the standing double triple cluster. Um, you just hold on, hold on to your yarn and wrap it one, two, three, four times. Now you don't need to have a long end because of the way I'm going to be uh, sewing in the ends after. So I'm just tucking this around just so that I don't lose it. And then you join up here and um, this is where we did the join for the invisible join. And I'm going to tuck in the yarn from the last round just to fasten it down a bit. And so you wrap your yarn over and pull through. So that's once you pull through two, you pull through two, and you pull through two. That was three times. And then you wrap three times again. Two, two, and three. Put your yarn hook through. Yarn over and pull back through. And it's again three times. You pull through two. One, pull through two, two, pull through two, third time. You do it one more time. One, two, three wraps. And you pull back through. And you pull through two. Pull through two. And pull through two. And then you yarn over and pull through all four. Four loops on the hook. One, two, three, and four. And then yarn over. And that's the end of the stitch. And yarn over and pull through to make three chains. One, two, three. And then you just repeat that. So one, two, and three. Next double crochet, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over three times. One, two, three. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. And pull through two. And one more time for your third. So, Run over three times, so your hook, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. It's three times. And then yarn over again and pull through all four stitches. And that's it. So chain three, one, two, and three. Yarn over three times. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Three. And pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And again. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to speed up and I'll meet you on the other end. Okay, and you need to do that, make 12 petals, and then you chain 3, and then I'll meet you over on the other end. Okay, we're at the last two stitches, so yarn over the last two um, petals, 
So that's three, six, nine, ten. So yarn over three, go through one, two, three times, and over three times, pull through, pull through, two, pull through, two, and over three times, pull through, pull through, and pull through, pull through all four, one, two, three chains, one, two, three yarns over, into the last double crochet, and back out, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over three times, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over three more times, and pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then pull through all four, and three, one, two, three chains. And just to make sure I didn't make a mistake, because I have made a couple, and I'll show you how to fix that in another video. So, it's all good. I've got three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so far I'm doing good. I didn't even put my head in the shot. I moved my camera set up to try and give you guys a better look so that it's more like I was looking at my own hands. And um, the second time I tried this video, I had my head in a shot in the shot a few times, so um, I pulled the yarn through. So we're going to do an invisible join here again. So this end, I'm actually going to pull it back out. That's why I wasn't too worried about how long it was. And I'm going to take the yarn and take this end, or the yarn needle, and take that end. And what I'm going to do is this chain stitch here is the one, let's get the, this one right here is the one I'm going to sew into. I'm just going to come from the back to the front and pull through. And then I'm going to go from the top back into the last chain and pull through. And then I'm going to shove that over here, get it to the other side. And this is the back. I tighten that stitch up a little. And so that's about the same size as the rest of them. And I'm going to take the needle again, and right here, I'm going to hook in, I'll try not to catch this one, but I'm going to hook in and pull the yarn through so that it ends up looking just like all the rest, or at least close. But this kind of hides the knot if I do it that way. So I took the needle off and then I just do a square knot. And so this one is, this one's coming out of the top, this one's coming out of the bottom. So this one needs to, this one. It's coming out of the top of the knot. This one's coming out of the bottom of the knot, so this needs to be this way, folded over the back, and in through, and pull it through, 
and tighten it up. And that kind of hides the knot in there. And we just need to sew this end in now. And so I grab, usually hook into the yellow one so I don't pull the pull the yarn through when I do this. Come on. There we go. Because sometimes he's a little bit grumpy on wanting to go. And then I do the same thing. I just hook it in under one of the existing stitches. And then I try to go through the middle of the yarn. Like hook into the thread that I just put through and yank it out the other side again. There we go. And that's all sewn in. So now I'm going to do a bunch of these. And we'll be ready again for next time we'll do the do the border, the leaves, and this is mint green. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it, and um, you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions or comments, just stick them in the comment below. Hit me up on Twitter, or um, yeah. So thank you very much, and you have a nice day. Bye.